breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Grave silence in Eramufu. Enogun community after terrorist invasion, leaving over 20 persons dead. Our one is the youth leaders emibit embittered. Grave silence in Eramufu. Enogun community after terrorist invasion. Leaving over 20 persons dead. One is a youth leader Zambita. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as a read to this news. The Apex Social Cultural Youth Organization of One is a Indigo Worldwide or One is a Youth Council. National President Comrade Idwayaka Ho, Idwayaka has expressed acrimony over the negligence of the Governor of Enugu State, His Excellency Governor Ifiai Ogwanyi, towards his advice on how to avert envisaged brutal killing of the citizens. Comrade Idwayaka alleged that he made the said revelation in the early period of March 2021 when he had a dialogue with Governor Ugwai on the incessant killings of innocent Igbo sons and daughters in Enogun, but regretted that the governor never heeded to his candid advice. The embittered Igbo youth leader reviewed that Ehamufu told missionary jihadist massacre could have been averted if Governor Ifiai Ogwai had listened to the Council's Strategic Council on how to save Enugu land from the dreaded Fulani headsmen bandit and jihadist. The national president of the youth body made this revelation while addressing newsmen in Abuja, federal capital, in reaction to the ongoing killings of Indigo in some part of Enugu State. It is obvious that the state had, as at yesterday, recorded the loss of over 100 lives in the state. Consequent upon the latter attack, on the people by dreaded Fulani headsmen, as houses were also set ablaze in the course of the attack. Ibu Ayaka, who accused Ugwai of being engrossed in what he termed his selfish interest in retiring to in Senate in 2023, threatened that if no adequate proactive measures are deployed to put a lasting end to the gruesome massacring of the people, Igbo youth shall rise against Southeast lizards, he said. Furthermore, Igbo Ayaka recounted that it was also the same thing Governor David Umayiro of Ebony State did when I contacted him on the killings that were going on in Ebony. However, all Umayi could say was, I shouldn't worry him that I should concentrate on Himo state, that I am not from a born state, Igbo Ayaka disclosed. When I said that Southeast governors are conspirators in the killings of Indigo by Fulani Edmund Bandit and jihadist, it's, and jihadist, it's not a mere allegation. But it is a fact which they have demonstrated through their deliberate continual silence. Continuing, Comrade Ibuayaka outlined that one of the major responsibilities of a responsible government in Southeast is the protection of lives and property of Indigo. But if the, the governors cannot deny this fact, that they collaborators in the maiming of Indigo for political gain and power.
let them honorably resign and give way for those that can sign and uphold a social contract to protect a library from external invasion. It is now obvious that we don't have leaders in Southeast, none of the Southeast governors, senators, federal laws of representative members, or state house of assembly members have made any comment or reaction on the killings of over 200 Igbos at Eha and Mufu Enugu State. Our senators and federal representatives in Abuja are looking for money and contract and preparing to go back to national assembly. There is no gain saying that governors, senators, reps members and ministers from Southeast Extraction are soulless, human political element that have more esteem for their political position more than the millions of lives of Indigo. These political characters must be taught a lesson in a hard way or they will intensify in their effort to put the lives of the Indigo into jeopardy. These wicked characters that attach titles of excellency. Honorable and distinguished are walking freely on the street, blowing serene here and there without a tinge of feelings about the woes that have befallen on Indigo. What we have in Southeast as governors, senators, as of representatives members, as of assembly members and ministers, a bunch of political looters and liege that feed on the blood of Indigo. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is on.